You know, whenever there's a big debate raging on the internet, yeah. I can see you guys are really paying attention to me hold while on, on your phones on, right yeah, now. That's cool. I don't have my phone up at all. Uh, well, okay. On, I'll start hey. again. Go you know ahead. when there's a big debate that's <laughs> raging on the internet? Uh, uh, apparently, yeah. some people in this room were just on the internet. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. They were involved in it. I was yeah. in the debate. There's usually two sets of people. There's one that says, I think it's this thing. And then the other says, no, I think it's that thing. Yeah, it's yeah. normally split. And I say, we want a piece of that action. What? It's Brooke and Jeffrey yeah. in the morning. Because if you haven't heard, How do we get that? folks on Reddit have been talking about something else lately. This time they're debating what to call the two ends on a loaf of bread. Ooh, I like this kind of stuff. Don't you call it the heels? Well, hold on, Brooke, because turns out there's more ways to describe it than you'd think. Some people, like Brooke said, call it the heel. Yeah. Others call it really? the end piece. That's what I thought it was. Just yeah. the end piece? Just the end piece. What else is it? It's yeah. the heel. That's and again, there's a big debate about I call it the butt. Oh. The butt of the bread. That's just kind of your go-to name for everything. Yeah. So that yeah. doesn't really count your opinion. But there's others who call it the slice, the end bread, the what? crust, the crust end. Wow, there's a lot of options. So yeah, I, how I, is it? Like I didn't I thought everybody was on board with heel. I know. No, you think I everybody thinks the way that, that you think, and that's how everything should be. <laughs> I haven't be. heard anyone call it anything else. It's well, you just, heard, you just heard it's a whole room of people call it other things. The end of the bread. So we need Sorry, to come together to have a as right a now, show Jeffrey. with a united <laughs> stance on what we're going to call it. Majority yeah. rules. We're all going to say it on three together. One, two, three. He butt. Oh, the bread. All right. I didn't hear you all say butt, but I think we agreed. It's butt. <laughs> So, I mean, you just got on me for saying that it was the heel, and it's now fine. you get to decide it's the butt. <laughs> Digital Jake, it doesn't two, really two make sense. Four people in the room agree on one thing. Yeah. Digital Jake, we're going to put it up on Instagram, make it official <laughs> that we all agree here at Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. It's the butt end no, of the bread. No one said so, that. And now, for the anybody who doesn't agree with me, I hope that they get some sense shocked into them with wow. the shock oh, color question okay. of the day. Okay. Digital right. Jake, I see where you're at today, give Jeffrey. us a really hard question for just the doubters in the room. Ooh. <laughs> ever wish your life had a little more spice in it? Mm-hmm. A little more drama? Ooh. Now Alexis is on board. Uh. She's like, spice, ew. <laughs> Our daily routines can get so boring when you take the same stupid route to work, uh, attend meetings with mm. the same boring people, oh. and mm. smell the same disgusting Brussels sprout and anchovy souffle <laughs> that Brooke brings in for lunch every single Friday. If you would just try a bite, I think no. you'd like it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But no question, our lives would be much more exciting if it was more like a drama-filled TV show. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. Which is why a new survey asked a thousand people, if you lived in a soap opera, oh. name something that would happen a lot more in your life. Ooh. You'll get a shot to uncover the top wow. five answers in a heart-pounding rendition of Unglued Family Feud. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> We'll start with the man who offered up his body in exchange for season tickets to the zoo. It's young Jeffrey. <laughs> mm. Season tickets to the zoo. It was worth it. Jeff, if you lived in a soap opera, name something that would happen a lot more in your life. Oh, Have you ever watched oh. a soap opera? Not a traditional soap opera. No, so like The Bachelor, long. is that what you're thinking of? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thinking of. I'm thinking yeah. of. Yeah, what's a non-traditional no. soap opera? Well, like Outlander. They call they say that it's soapy when you go to like Netflix in the descriptions. Anyway. Oh really? Huh. Jeff just searches how... soapy on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> when I think of soap operas, I think of like people coming back from the dead. You know, like just outrageous stuff uh, yeah. happening. And you finding out your husband is actually the killer of your best oh friend. My gosh. You know, it's yeah. drama. Ninety like percent of soap operas seem to happen inside of a hospital. Yeah, there's everyone always is hospital. always yeah. in the hospital That's in the true. soaps. Yep. So you're gonna see since you're in the hospital all the time, you're gonna yeah. see a lot of comas. Because okay. yeah. everybody oh. has to go through a coma yep. at least There's once in their life. The rule. Yep, I yeah. wrote that down. So uh-huh. give me coma. Give lot me. Of, <laughs> or, you know what I mean. Going in or coming out? <laughs> All of it. <laughs> Probably both, right? Yeah. 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 They in always and out of wake coma. Up. You have to wake up. That's the dramatic part. Jeffrey asked for a medical coma. That's not on my Whoa. list, Jeffrey. Oh. Didn't make the top five at all. I thought for sure. What? Let's go over to Alexis. You're in a soap opera. What's something that's going to happen more in your life that doesn't already? What are some like OG soap opera shows? Anyway, oh God, it's General like, Hospital as the, oh. as the world turns. All like my children. The there was oh, a my great mom used one. To love that show. Oh, my <laughs> there was one called Passions. 
<laughs> that was like terrible and it had like a witch in it. My mom what? still yeah. loves soap operas. I can't tell if it's like trauma or like scandals or like what it all, is. Everything. All of it. Like, yeah. Yes. Honestly, I feel like all reality shows are based around soap operas. Yeah. Like the premise mm -hmm. of yeah. them. Yeah, mm -hmm. totally. So maybe just, can I just say more like just like cheating in relationships, Jake? Is that too general? You can say that, relationships? sure. Cheating, I don't know. Cheating, I'm just God, imagining you like walking it. in on like your husband with somebody. Yeah. Like you're catching someone cheating. It's definitely on there. Cheating? It's number three okay. on the list. Yeah, there you go. Any love affairs, infidelity, okay, I'm going to count all of that. That's number three. Alexis, you're okay. safe. Let's go over to Jose. Darn it. Both my answers that I wrote down have been said in the room, but uh, I also like watching Telemundo, like the Spanish soap operas, mm -hmm. and there's always like a long lost twin. Oh, good call. Right? That's like funny. they walk yes. in and it's like, ay Dios mio. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yes, like, yes. Pablo. Go do it. Oh, I thought you were dead. I love it. So I think I'm going to go with long, show me long Long Lost Twins. Long Lost Twins. Didn't oh, make the top five. Yeah, I like that. Only okay. one correct so far. Over to Brooke. Okay, I think in soap operas, there's a lot more poisoning via food that oh, happens. Oh my you know, God. like <laughs> when the guy isn't looking, you slip a couple drips of arsenic into his tea or something. Wow. So I'm going to go uh, food poisoning, but not like the kind you get from a bad restaurant. <laughs> right. Not like your anchovy salad yeah. Yeah. <laughs> or souffle. Poisoning via food? I'm going to give you that, Brooke. Number two, I'm going to say all suspicious deaths uh, count yeah, as yeah, poisoning counts. via food. So uh, we have suspicious deaths and love affairs mm. already. We're over to Jeffrey now. Man, where are you at? Number one, still on the list. Well, I know, like we were saying, the relationships are very volatile in the soap opera world. Mm -hmm. I know the divorce rate in the normal world is 50%. In yeah. the soap opera world, it's 97%. <laughs> yeah, wow. Almost as but high as the amnesia. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you may want to look on the other side and think there's a lot of marriages that happen you because of it. Like weddings. Answers. There's yeah. always a wedding in a soap opera. That's true. I can go with divorce or wedding. Probably both I mean, on they, the list. Yeah, they really go hand in hand. Yeah. You know, yeah. you can't have one without the other. I mean, I guess I'll, I'll choose wedding. Show me weddings. Weddings. Number oh, four on nice. the list. Right. There we go. Quickly, was... let's go over the top five. If you lived in a soap opera, name something that would happen a lot more in your life. People said the number one answer was arguments or fights. Oh, that's oh. pretty oh. generic. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Number right. two was suspicious deaths. Number three, love affairs and infidelity. Number four was weddings. And number five was divorce. Uh, yeah, they were both on the list. Okay. Of course. So Jose is going to be getting shocked today. Somebody wanted to hear about Damn Time by Lizzo. Ooh, nice. In a minute, I'm going to need a sentimental man or woman to pump me up. Feeling fussy, walking in my Balenciaga. Yes, he's out. <laughs> well, the show is over, but you can relive it all right now at brookeandjeffrey.com. Woo!